how's it going? What's cooking? What's been going on? I'm so glad you made it. If you are here, it is your birthday. Of course, happy birthday if you are here because you have a loved one who is a Scorpio. This video is also for you. To find out more about them, maybe more about what they'd be like for their birthday as well. <laughs> I just want to say that Scorpios are the deadly warrior. Mm, it might sound bad, but it's not as bad as it seems. They are known to be sent by the goddess to accomplish a lethal mission. And they are fearless and unstoppable. So that is some good energy. Um, they are also in pursuit. They fight resentlessly for what they believe in, for their purpose or their cause of what they need to fight for. Um, that is what they're sent here for. With concern of failure consequences, they do have some fears about being about failing their accomplishments or you know, or the consequences of their actions after they're done the battle that they're fighting for, right? But all in all, they are fighting for what they believe is a good cause for, you know, our world, <laughs> our relam. So yeah, so I also want to go into, you know, the Scorpios are water signs. Their color that they are drawn to may not be their favorite color, but it's color that they that is acceptable to them, or they are drawn to without knowing why. Is scarlet, red, or rust? Their best days of the week is Tuesday. Also, the ruler of Scorpio is Mars, so that is a good energy as well. Mars has a lot of, you know, Mars can be a little bit of a romantic energy. It can also be kind of like new, inspiring energy. It can also represent some you know, adventure, because everyone is very curious about Mars as well, and that just sparks a lot of curiosity, for, you know, in us as well. Love matches, may not be the best love matches, but the best matches as a lover or a friend or just someone to get along with work really well is a Taurus or a Cancer. Their lucky numbers are 8, 11, 18, and 22. What they have is their blessings. You know, we all have blessings and we all have curses. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're just born that way, you know? So for their blessings that, we, that Scorpios have is that they're resourceful, powerful, you know, they'll fight for what they believe in, they're brave and passionate and a true friend. They're, you know, their curses <laughs> or weaknesses, whatever you want to call them, you know? We all have them. It's the strength, is not trusting people, a little bit of jealousy, maybe sometimes manipulative, or, you know, sometimes you just have to manipulate the situation so that you win that battle, right? I gotcha. <laughs> um, violence could also be a weakness for Scorpios. Um, I feel like that just comes with their purpose here on Earth, and I feel like it's not something to frown upon with a Scorpio, you know? They're defending what they believe in, and that is a good quality. Scorpios, what they like, they like people who are truthful and honest. They like facts, like they need to have proof of the information. They're not just going to believe you without the proof, you know? The proof is in the pudding, you know? Those are the Scorpios. <laughs> Maybe when Scorpios said that, I don't know. But, <laughs> you know, they also like being right. <laughs> they are talented. They like teasing, joking around, being playful, and they are very passionate. Scorpios don't like, they don't like people who lie or are not honest, you know? They don't like revealing secrets. They don't want people to know much about them. They're very private to themselves. They are superficial and they like small talk. <laughs> or they don't like small talk, sorry. They don't like small talk. They don't like small talk. I got that. Okay. So, another thing that you should know about Scorpios is that I do have a high level of determination and focus. You know, and they are unattached by the other zodiac signs. So they're fine on their own. They don't need the other signs. You know, they love them, but they don't need them. Or they don't, you know, they're their own people. They're not like any other sign. They must learn to not manipulate people or influence people in ways that they are not uh, meant to be. You know, sometimes they will want to, they need to hold back on their strength and not to try to make other people see things in their way. They see things in a different way than all the other zodiac signs. And sometimes they have a need or want to make others feel or see things the way they do. You know, that's, that's a little bit under their curse of a Scorpio. But overall, they seem like really good people. You know, I feel like we need them around. We need to, you know, defend our world. <laughs> so I'm going to switch the screen so we get into the tarot reading. So first we're going to look at... First we're going to look at how you've grown this year. What has Scorpio learned this year? Between your last birthday to this birthday, what have you learned? Let's see. What has Scorpio learned? 
away. I turned her around. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. That is some good energy. You have learned a lot. I feel the most important thing that you've learned of that is okay to let loose, it's okay to have fun and happy celebrations, you know? Even if it's just inner celebrations or celebrations with family, maybe for some of you, you've learned some things about your family or your family roots as well. There is the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is also in the light. I feel like you've learned a lot about give and take, who you can trust, who you can't. That, you know, even though you're the one that wants to help everyone, you're the one that wants to protect your family and friends, it's okay to allow them to do the same for you. There's also the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is in the dark. <laughs> so I feel like maybe you've learned a little bit more about being creative. Maybe you've learned a little bit more about telling people about your problems or stresses instead of like holding it in. I know you don't like to reveal secrets. You don't want to express how you're feeling. You don't want people to know what your stress and worries are about, but maybe you have learned to let that go a little bit um, or just learn the importance of maybe sharing a little bit more. Maybe you've learned some truths about yourself or some truths about someone else as well. For the lovers, the lovers is in the light. The lovers in the light, I do feel like you've learned to love yourself. I feel like you've learned to love someone else as well. Maybe you have learned more about your lover that you have. Or maybe you've learned what kind of lover you like or what your interest of a person would be. And you're more focused on finding this person to love. <laughs> you know? So let's just see. The next one is the theme of the year. So what is the theme of the year for Scorpio? Ooh. For the Six of Wands, the Six of Wands is in the dark. For the Six of Wands, I feel like the theme of the year is to, to enjoy those private achievements, you know? Enjoy them. Also, you know, it's okay to like work on your ego. It's okay to work on being self-confident and being determined to accomplish what you need to accomplish, you know? It's okay to validate the strengths that you have, to achieve the goals that you want, you know? It's okay to, to like lose a little bit, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. There's also the theme of the Nine of Wands. For the Nine of Wands, being in the light, I do feel like it's about finding that resilience, being determined, having that courage to pursue whatever dreams you need to pursue this year. I also feel like there's an energy about expressing your creativity. So I don't know if you're an artist or like, you like to do things that are like artsy or just building something out of, you know, woodwork or whatever it is, but find your creative side. It could just be even in tech, you know, technology can also be very creative, whatever that path is for you. Like you can express yourself, express how, whatever it is that you have in you that you want to express being creative. There's the judgment. I feel like the judgment, this is a new year for you. You know, from this birthday to the next, it's your year to shine. It's your year to rise above and show people what you have, what you're made of, you know? I can feel that for you. Just a little bit of rebirth, a little bit of redemption here going on, which I feel like is a positive thing for you this year. There is a star. The star is in the dark. For the star being in the dark, I do feel like there is an energy about having, like, renewing your hope and, like, renewing your faith and, like, you know, just enjoy feeling blessed by the universe. It is in the dark, though, so I do feel like there's energy about having some creative and emotional blocks. So maybe if this is something you have already, maybe work on, you know, expressing some of that, like trying to figure out what is blocking you from being creative and being yourself, you know, whatever, what's ever blocking you from expressing those emotions the way you would like to. I also feel like there's energy that you're going to be looking for truth and finding truth. I feel like you're going to be able to find out who you can trust, who you can't this year. I also feel like, and look at other people, like, you know, you can trust your feelings. You don't need to rely on your feelings when you're judging other people is what I'm trying to say, you know? You, can, you know, you can just, just, just allow, like, you know, listen to your intuition, listen to your instincts. If they feel right, you know, they feel right, but you don't need to um, always listen to your instincts instincts and your intuition it's okay to like you know mute someone and get to know them before you make your decision this is what i'm trying to say here you know don't be too quick to judge is what i'm getting at let's just this year what's gonna happen for scorpio this year for their birthday season and the year scorpio what's going on for scorpio this year what are challenges they will have to face that's what wants to be out we're not gonna fight okay
<laughs> oh, what is going on here? There's going to be quite a bit of challenges this year. I feel like the theme of this year is that you may be challenged. Yeah. I feel like things may be testing you a little bit. Maybe it's going to be testing the path that you're on to, you know, sometimes you get tested by the universe to make sure that we're on the right path or to make sure we don't sway away from the path that we're on, you know? I feel like no one is on a bad path. It's just the path, you know, some paths are better than others, but it doesn't mean any of them are bad, right? It's just the path that <laughs> we've been put on, you know? The Queen of Pentacles is on the dark, so I do feel like this is an energy. Oh, maybe it's about feeling a little bit down or a little bit, you know, ugh just because of money problems or find solutions on how to solve the money issues. I do feel like that is something that may be heavy on your heart going forward this year. And I also feel like, again, with the trusting thing, there's a lot of issues about trust here. Um, yeah. I also feel like maybe you're struggling with a business partner or some of you are doing a business or thinking about doing a business on or thinking about collaborating with somebody and it just doesn't feel right to you. Maybe listen to that. Um, or keep in mind that at some point during the year, you may come up with a person that if you feel that they're a little bit off, if you feel like, you know, they're not really as trustworthy as you were hoping they would be, maybe, you know, um, think about that more before pursuing a business deal with them. There's also the magician. The magician is in the dark as well. For other challenges, I feel like you're going to ha have is maybe, you know, maybe some of your great plans won't have some good foundation. So I feel like maybe that's something you're going to have to work on. You're like, no, you may have a great idea. Maybe this business partner was like a perfect idea for you and this does this not work out. Or whatever the case may be, maybe it's two completely different things, you know. Keep that in mind as well. You have the five wands. With the five wands, I do feel like there might be some conflicts, you know, conflicts with people you're working with or people that you're trying to get together with for something or other you know i just feel like that it might be something i also feel like there's some ambition going on here you know i feel like there might even be some inner conflicts maybe the inner conflict is more about yourself being being torn between like you know i don't really trust this person but i really want to work with them i really want this project to work out but it's kind of like doomed to before it even starts kind of energy or there's a potential that it could be just because of whatever this is is worked out so make sure if you're choosing partners you choose wisely you know um listen to your intuition maybe for that one i don't know it's up to you all oh it's always up to you right the universe just gives suggestions the cards are just giving suggestions you know nothing here is sun stone this is not only for this cannot this may not even be for you right every scorpio is different it's just a general reading there is the knight of wands as well the knight of wands in the light i do feel like there is a rush of energy i do feel like you're going to feel like you're on top of things i also feel like you're going to have passion i do feel like you're going to be inspired and adventurous i also feel like you're going to be able to reach your dreams this year once you get a good set on trusting people and figuring out who you can trust who you can't trust who you need to let go of who you can move on from and, you know, listen to your heart, listen to your instincts, you know. You don't always have to rely on your feelings on making the judgments of this person. You know, just because you don't like them personally doesn't mean they're not good business people, right? Then keep that in mind as well. So those are the challenges we're going to face this year. Let's see, can we get some positive messages from the universe or spirits or whoever wants to come forward to give Scorpios a positive message for their birthday season, birthday year? Let's see, can we get some positive messages for Scorpio? Positive messages for Scorpio. Ooh, letting go, letting go of what is not serving you well this year. Knight of Swords. No, nope, that was not coming out. What spiritual messages can we get for Scorpio? Ooh. For the Eight of Cups, for the Eight of Cups, I do feel like there is an energy that you're going to have to be making some important decisions, and I feel like these important decisions may be affecting your relationship or the relationships with the people that you have right now. I also ha have the Knight of Swords for you. For the Knight of Swords, I do feel like there is an energy about being ready to fight for it, you know, whatever it is, you know, <laughs> think, think things through, you know. Um, I feel like you're going to have an incredible passion for ideas and love and that sort of thing as well um, I also feel like there's an energy about being easily bored by a partner as well so maybe that's what the issue is with a partner you know maybe you just lost interest in them or maybe they have lost interest in you this is just you know something to hook up for this year it's supposed to be a positive message you know but if people are not serving you I feel like you need to follow your heart here and do what's best I also feel like the Knight of Swords is also about money 
for the money idea, I do feel like you're, you're going to be focused on your career. I feel like, you know, whatever that is, you're going to be ready to make some big moves. I also feel like you're going to have some high energy to get things done. You know, I feel like you might be decisive about the action you want to take forward. You know, I do feel like there might be some other people influencing that decision. I feel like that is just not you alone. Being indecisive, I do feel like, you know, when you're building a business, there's other people that you need to work with, there's other people you need to um, could find in, you know, talk about things, you know, making sure everything is legit, you know, I gotcha. You have the Five of Pentacles in the dark as well, so I do feel like there is an energy. <sighs> I feel like there's an energy, again, about walking away from something, you know, walking away there from the Eight of Cups and walking away again from the Pentacles. I feel like this is more about you know working a working problem but i do feel like you will be working i do feel like you will be making money and paying your bills and that sort of thing you know i feel like you know i feel like if you do lose your job i feel like if you lose your job this year it's going to be for a good reason just because there's a better job for you a better career for you a better option for you that is going to make you more productive make you more money more satisfied you know the people who are rich and become which rich and wealthy is because they're doing what they love to do so keep that in mind you know if you're not loving your job if you're not feeling it if it's not keeping you motivated inspired and keeping that high energy you know there's something else out there for you the wheel of fortune you know it brings you luck it brings you like faith that you are on the right road you are having destiny things are gonna work well for you you know i gotcha now for the gift if you follow this long and are anxious to know what kind of gifts Scorpios would enjoy. So gifts a Scorpio would like. They would like those masks that are sleeping. If you want to get them a little sleep kit, that is something a Scorpio would like. I do also feel like they would be the ones that would love to go out to one of those mystery dinners. You know where you have to figure out who murdered who, those little things that they have, or an escape room sort of thing or an adventure. I feel like they would love that as well. I also feel like they would love honey to gift, <laughs> something sweet, a coffee mug. I also feel like they would love a candles, um, even cards, even tarot cards or playing cards or any kind of game. I also feel like they like board games as well, those little mystery ones. Um, there's one in particular called, by Hasbro, it's called um, Gaming Betrayal at the House on the Hill. I feel like that is something they would like, or Clue, you know, that is a more of a traditional game. Yeah, I also feel like they would love plants, a pl and a plant in particular that Scorpios enjoy are the little ones that eat the flies, I don't know if you guys are called, the, fl the Venus flytrap plants. It's also something they would enjoy as a gift, of course books, you know. That is kind of a, <laughs> a deal. There's also gifts you can buy online that are specifically for like a Scorpio or whatever zodiac sign. And also, I do feel like they are pretty accurate for the sign, depending on the person. You know, everyone has different personalities. Not all Scorpios are the same, obviously. We all have our own experiences and culture backgrounds and, you know, all that sort of thing that does make all the Scorpios a little different or everyone a little bit different, right? We don't want anyone to be the same because that's boring, but yeah. And that's what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope to see you next time. Oh, I want to say one more thing before you leave. What careers are best for Scorpio? <laughs> Career paths for Scorpio is detective, police officer, psychologist, and surgeon. Like, you know, Scorpios are very intelligent people, so keep that in mind, you know? If you're not there yet, you can manifest some pretty good genes. If that, even that means that going back to work or looking into something, you know? Seeing what you can do to get that creative Scorpio. You know, Scorp Scorpios are our protectors. They don't even security type of work, even like online tech security work. I know that seems to be a popular thing right now. Um, yeah, check those things out if you're curious of a new career path. But I'll see you next time. Bye.